four times and this is going to cancel out. Now you can probably hear the printer in the background. It's annoying as fuck. Give me a second. Good morning fellow mathematicians, welcome back to another video. This thing is going to, now this thing, this video is going to focus on pretty nice algebra, if you ask me. We want to find out what this sum evaluates to. Maybe I have already made a video on that using integrals. Maybe I didn't, I don't really have an upload schedule. I don't want to take a look at this thing right here at the moment. So this is something that's going to pop out miraculously in the end. I would like to take a look at something completely different, namely the Dirichlet eta function evaluated at 2. We know what the series actually is. It's a sum running from 1 to infinity of negative 1 to the k plus 1 power over k squared. I have derived this together with the basal problem in one video. It's going to evaluate to exactly pi squared over 12. I still have one video to do to show that we can algebraic, algebraically manipulate this Dirichlet eta function of 2 into the Riemann zeta function of 2, pi squared over 6, the basal problem. The Dirichlet eta function is used to analytically continue our Riemann zeta function. But don't tell anyone, this is a secret! Illuminati wants to keep this a secret, my boys. Why is this useful? Okay, um, I'm just going to call this thing right here eta, okay? What the fuck was this? Eta, okay? Not a mu and an eta. And now I would just like to multiply this thing right here by a few factors. Why not take a look at eta over 2, okay? Um, eta over 2, let me think, is, is this any good? Oh no, eta over 2 squared, okay? Let's take a look at eta over 2 squared. This is going to evaluate, okay, to sum running from k equals to 1 to infinity. Negative 1 to the k plus 1 power over, okay, 2 squared and k squared, we can bring this together to 2 times k, but squared. I can write out a few of those terms if you want. So this is going to give us, um, okay, this up here was exactly um, 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 3 squared, minus 1 over 4 squared, etc. Okay, this is what it is. Now we are multiplying both uh, uh, everything by 2 down here. So this is 1 over 2 squared, minus 1 over 4 squared. Maybe you can already see where this is actually going. That's supposed to be a 4. And then positive 1 over 6 squared. Yeah, uh, one more, uh, 1 over 8 squared. Now we are going to continue this process. We want two squared down here, okay? This is going to give us eta over, and I'm going to put it differently, two to the third power right here. Two to the third power, or one over two to the third power, is nothing but two over two to the fourth power. Two times, oh, not mu, eta. Why am I so retarded? Two over two to the fourth power. 2 to the 4th power is nothing but 2 squared, squared, giving us a sum running from k equals to 1 to infinity of, okay, now we have a 2 up here, 2 times negative 1 to the k plus 1 power over 2 squared times k squared. Maybe you can already see where this is going. It's, it's quite brilliant, actually, it's pretty cool. Okay, now we are going to have 2 over, okay, this multiplied by 2, basically, now. So we are going to have 4 squared minus 2 over 8 squared plus 2 over 12 squared. Mm, oh yeah, and here plus dot dot dot. Minus um, 2 over 16 squared. Okay. It's a lot of algebra, I have to think about everything I do. I don't want to do any mistakes. Let's do one more iteration and see where this is going actually. Now, eta over, you might have guessed, 2 to the fourth power. But what we want to have here is now 2 to the third power, because this was 2 to the first power, 2 squared. Now we want to have 2 to the third power. But we only have 
2 to the 4th power down here. Meaning we have to expand this fraction by 2 squared over 2 squared. So 2 squared, not mu eta, oh my goodness, over 2 to the 6th power, evaluating 2. Why did I even choose this letter? Why didn't I just call it E? <sighs> Never mind. So sum running from k equals to 1 to infinity of, now we have 2 squared, negative 1 to the k plus 1 power over k2 okay, to the 6th power is nothing but 2 to the 3rd power times k but squared evaluating 2 okay everything right here down here multiplied by 2 those factors end up here by 2 so this is 4 over because 2 squared is 4 in the natural numbers now we have um, 8 squared minus 4 over 16 squared plus dot 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 okay never mind about those rest terms before we can get to the point where we actually get our infinite sum, I want to focus on the, um, on the result at first, pi squared over 8. Because, well, why not add all those terms together? So eta plus eta over this, plus 2 times eta over this, blah, blah, blah. Okay, we're going to add all of those together, infinitely many. So we are going to continue this process right here. We are going to iterate more and more, leaving us with... Okay, this is going to be an eta plus eta over 2 squared plus eta over 2 to the third power plus eta over 2 to the fourth power plus da da da. You're going to see why this is actually useful. Now I would like to factor out an eta on all those terms, okay? Not eta equals 2, just eta times. What we have here is 1 plus, I'm going to leave a bit of space. No, no, I'm not. We're just going to put it here. 1 over 1 uh, plus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 to the third power plus 1 over 2 to the fourth power plus dot dot dot. I hope you can see where this is going. We can put this right here into sigma notation. Sigma balls, my sons and daughters out there. This is nothing but big sigma running from k equals to 2 to infinity of this is 1 half to the kth power. What is this exactly? Well, it's pretty easy to evaluate if you know the first two terms. So the zero and the first term, because then we would have the geometric series. So the zero the zero of term would be 1 half to the zero of power. This is 1. Okay, we, we have this up here. This is already good. All that's really missing is 1 half to the first power, which is nothing but 1 half. So let us add to this whole thing 1 half and subtract it once again. Because if you have one apple and you don't add another apple to it, then you just have one apple. Okay, so we are going to subtract 1 half from it and we are going to add 1 half to this whole thing. We have used this trick many more. Uh, many more times before, so just take a look at some videos where I used it. Um, one half to the kth power. Overall, this sum is now going to start from zero if we include those into here. And we know if our x value, one half in this case, is strictly less than one, it is, it's one half, it's just one half of one, then we can make use of the formula for the geometric series, turning this into 1 over 1 minus 1 half. 1 minus 1 half is nothing but 1 half, taking the reciprocal leaves us with 2. Now we have 2 minus 1 half. We can expand this by, well, 2 over 2, giving us 4 over 2, giving us 3 over 2. So overall, this is eta times 3 over 2. This is good, we know what eta is, so we can just Com compute this, that's, that's really easy. We know that this is pi squared over 12 times 3 over 2. This is going to cancel out, so 12 is nothing but 3 times 4. 2 times, eight in the natu 2 times 4 in natural numbers is nothing but 8, so this is pi squared over 8. So somehow we were able to get pi squared over 8. But is this thing right here really equal to this series? So does it make any sense? Well, if we add all of those together, let's see what we actually get. That's why I've written out a lot of terms right here. So 1 over 1 squared, well, we, we can find this in here anymore, so we don't really give a shit about that. 1 over 2 squared with a negative sign. Cancels out with this positive right here, additive inverses. 
1 over 3 squared. Well, we can find this in here. All of those are multiples of 2. So all the odd terms up here are, well, just going to stay where they are. The multiples of 2, the denominators are multiples of 2 in some way. Negative 1 over 4 squared. Well, okay. Now here comes the more complicated part. That's why I've written out a lot of stuff. This is going to give us, okay, negative 1 over 4 squared, 2 times negative 1 over 4 squared, but here we have positive 2 times 1 over 4 squared. Okay, this, that, and that is going to cancel out. Next up here, we are going to have 1 over 5 squared is going to stay, then we have negative 1 over 6 squared, then we have 2 times Oh no, this and that is going to cancel out in the end. So yeah, everything is going to cancel out. Same spiel here. So we are going to have negative 1 over 8 squared up here. So this 2 times negative 1 over 8 squared, 4 times, and this is going to cancel out. Now you can probably hear the printer in the background. It's annoying as fuck. Give me a second. I was able to drink something. My life is eternal suffering. So you see, overall, in the limit, this thing right here is a telescoping series. All the even terms are going to cancel out somehow. It's more of a heuristic approach, but it does work out. It's just how telescoping series work. So overall, we are going to be left with all. So all positive signs right here. And this is the reciprocal of all the odd numbers squared. Just like here. So the zero of term is one over one squared. The first term is one over three squared. The next one is 1 over 5 squared and so on. So overall, this thing right here is actually going to evaluate to what we want it to be. It's a matter of construction, but it turned out pretty nicely. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and recommend the channel if you like. If you want to support the channel a bit more, click on the core links that I post from time to time by those cool teachers I created. Support channel on Patreon. Up until the next video, have a flammable day. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Ciao.